ain't quitting us, are you, Jimmy? Not much else I can do. I'm cleaned out. Well, seeing as your enemies are deep, I might as well stake you to a couple of more stacks. How, how many owing you all together? Oh, I don't know. Ain't time to sum it up yet. You'll never get even by quitting. Take the job. No, saying they're on their way here. Off of that telegram I sent. But Bob, go ahead and read it. Well, I thought that is the main reason why you finagled the citizens' committee into letting you send this telegram to these fellows, so you could word it and discourage them from coming. That's the way I figured. I told that all previous peace officers had died sudden and unexpected. They must be awful sure of themselves, or else they're gluttons for punishment. Well, you say the word, and me and the boys will stop these range busters before they get here. I wouldn't do. Make it too plain that somebody tipped you off they were coming. Now, I got an idea that'll take some of the starch out of them without making anybody suspicious. Now, look. We go to work. Hold on there. We may be leading with our chins with all them fireworks. Yeah, but we can't let some poor hombre get shot. Come ahead. planted gag like that. Fine set of peace officers we turned out to be. You should have listened to Alibi. All right, that's one on me. I guess I ought to be kicked. <laughs> hey, what's the idea? Well, you asked for it, didn't you? I wonder what Canyon City will think of the range busters now, getting their horses stole out from under. I hope that ain't nice, rubbing it in like that. They can't steal my horse without hearing about it. Mine neither. Come on, fellas, we got a right smart piece of walking to do. Gee, 
Gee, I wonder how many more miles we gotta go. I'm not old to teach them range busters they ain't as smart as they thought they was. It'll give them a long walk to town. That's good looking horses. Yeah. I'll take dubs on this one and that silver mounted saddle too. Yeah. You can't do that to me, I'll teach you a lesson. Give me that bull whip. Bite at me, will you? <laughs> Try to call me, will you? I'll teach you a lesson. I'll let him go. It's a good riddance. He looked like a killer anyway. Yeah, but I would like to head that silver mounted saddle. These boots are sure made for riding, not for walking. Mm. Well, I gotta ease my feet. Oh, say, that's a good idea. I got the same notion, but you might just as well cheer up about it. Sure, Alibi. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of the game. It may be tough, it may be rough, with lots of shooting and other stuff. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of the game. We gotta sing, we gotta grin, we gotta take it on the chin. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of the game. Boom, boom. It's all a part of the game. Boom, boom. They knock me all around each nook, but I'm not as dumb as I may look. It's all a part of the game. It's all a part of the game. It's all a brand. We gotta fight to beat the band. It's all a part of the game. Hey, Crash, look. There's your horse. Sure is. Come on, Dusty. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Likely enough, now I'll get a stone bruise. Hey, Crash, how do you suppose he got loose? I don't know, but somebody sure marked him up with a whip. Use your head, Alibi. Make it a stone bruise till we get to town anyhow. Well, what'd be the sense of that? Well, there's only one horse. And uh, if you got a stone bruise, why, maybe we'd be the ones that ride. Oh, ouch! Hurt my foot! Where can we find Mr. Harmon? I'm Harmon. What can I do for you? I reckon you're the one that sent this. So you're the range busters? Yeah. Dusty King, Alibi Terhune, my name's Corrigan. Oh, Chuck, bring that star out of the cash drawer. What's the matter? Shell blames? No, sir. Blisters. Fact is, we had a little trouble with our horses, and we came quite a piece without their help. Trouble with your horses? Yeah. What happened? Some horse thieves coaxed them away from them. <laughs> so funny. I know it ain't polite to laugh, but I just wonder what them horse thieves are going to think when they find out whose horses they stole. Here, this will identify you the next time the horse thieves get frisky. <laughs> the committee put it up to me to swear you in legal. Raise your right hands. Do you solemnly swear to perform the duties of peace officers without favor and to the best of your ability? I do. Yes. That's that. Boys, our new peace officers. Right. Hey. What do you have to drink? Oh, no, thanks. I reckon we'd better get settled. Oh, all right. I'll see you later. 
Oh, wait a minute. Here's the key to the sheriff's office. You'll find it down the south end of the street. Thanks. Remember, I'm willing to help any way I can. Oh, nice. So that's how you've been winning, eh? Stealing off the bottom. Give me back my chips. Stay where you are, everybody. And keep your hands idle. Take it easy, partner. Oh. Nothing to get excited about. He just lost his head for a second. Why, in another second, he'd have committed murder. Forget it. Hey, Jimmy, come here. You and Blackie shake hands and make up. Uh, just a minute, kid. Did you see him deal off the bottom? Well, I... I could have been mistaken. Of course you're mistaken. Blackie's all right. He's a friend of mine. Is there anything in that oath I took about excluding your friends? No, I suppose not. Well, then I reckon I'll have to do my official duty. Say, where's the jail? It's in the back of the sheriff's office. And the keys? Hanging on a nail inside. Much obliged. I can see we have one of everything. One horse, one star, and one prisoner twixt us. And one head of a committee that can change colors as fast as a South American lizard. Yep, he is some shifty. <coughs> I don't trust him. Seems like he's got too many folks under his thumb. Yeah, and for instance, you take that kid they call Jimmy. Did you notice how quick he was to take sides when Harmon said the word? Sure seemed that way. So well, the feller aimed just previous to plug him. Yeah. Now that we've betted down our prisoner, I reckon we'd better figure out what our next move will be. Are, are, are you the new peace officer? That's right, son. Then hurry, you're wanted at the schoolhouse. Follow me. Now, if I you stay here and take care of the prisoner. I'll watch him. A skunk. A what? A skunk under the schoolhouse. Our last sheriff always used this. He crawled out through the trap door and then scared it out through a hole in the back. A skunk? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Here you are, Crash. You've got a much longer reach than I have. Well, you'll have to go about it gently, or we won't be able to use the schoolroom for a week. Yes, that's easy to understand. Can I hold your hat? can't accomplish much from there. You'll have to crawl under. Under there? Yeah, yep, under there. and they run into some real bad trouble? The worst kind. Soon as I heard schoolhouse, I seen it coming. Well, I don't get you. Desperados don't use schoolhouses often as hideouts. Who said anything about desperados? That ain't our worst kind of trouble. Well, you ain't insinuating, are you, Elmer? Sure am. Who ever heard of a schoolhouse without a school teacher? Sure as shooting, we're in for a woman trouble. Shoot. 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 Get out of there. Shoot. 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 Get out of there. Shoot. Shoot. In the name of the law, get out of there. I'll break your neck. Get out of there. Shoot. Be careful, please. That's right. It won't pay to pick a fight with that critter. Oh, now, if you think you can do any better, come down here and take my place. Go ahead. You're doing fine. All right, then tell that other skunk to keep still. There he is now. Hurry, show him. Shoo. 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 Get out of there. Shoo. 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 Shoo.
Get out of there. Shoot. 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 Whoa. What's the matter? He won't look me in the eye. He is now shooing. Shoot. 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 Gone. That's fine. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. You did marvelously. Here, let me help straighten you out. Oh, my, it took longer than I thought. It's almost three o'clock. You children may go home now. Oh, Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. I, I beg your pardon. I need a little information, and uh, you might be able to give it to us. Uh, do you mind if we stay a while? Oh, that won't do. I need money, and I need it now. I guess I'd better see your sister. Oh, my word of honor. Even if... Try Bart Gill. He's... Every cent of it. Ways I didn't like. How do you mean? Being special, only... Well, it just wasn't the kind of work that I'm used to. Bart must have thought it was, or he wouldn't give you the money. Listen, kid. Just because you've had more school than some, you can't be too dead about the kind of work you do. All that isn't how I mean. Mr. Harmon, you're not going to Sally, are you? No, not right now. Let her ride for a few days and you can think it over. Just how much do you know about this Robert Harmon? Oh, not a great deal, I suppose except that he came here about two years ago and bought his place of business. Well, was that before or uh, after that most of the devilmen around here broke loose? Really, I don't know. I, Well, I don't see how Bob Harmon could be one of the outlaws. Why, it was his saloon was being robbed when the last sheriff was killed. Tell me, did uh, he lose any property? The robbers took every cent in his cash drawer and then lined up all his customers. And I suppose they went through their pockets, too. He came to the sheriff, then he tried to pull them out of them. But it wasn't quick enough. Well, that's why the Citizens Committee organized. They thought, oh, dear, I'll never get these papers corrected if you keep me answering questions all day. You see? There you go, making a nuisance of yourself again. Oh, I didn't mean that. Can't you take a hint? We're supposed to get out of here. Please, you've been most obliging, both of you. And to prove I mean it, I'm inviting you to supper tonight. Oh, uh, thank you, ma'am, but uh, that isn't at all necessary. But of course, of course, that is, uh, if you insist. I do. I live in the last house at the end of this street. On uh, which side? Left. Uh, how about alibi that we told you about? We supposed to fetch him, too? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, well, maybe you'd better set just two extra places in, ma'am, for him and alibi. Well, why aren't you coming, too? Well, somebody has to keep tab on our prisoner, and uh -huh. I'll tell you, after they get back, I'll come along later. That is, uh, if it isn't being too much trouble. Of course not. And to pay for the trouble to keep my dinner warm, I'll even help you do up the dishes. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, where are you going? Just riding a piece. Oh, please, Jimmy, I wish... Oh, don't worry. I'll be right back. One of your former pupils? My brother. Oh? Well, what's the matter? Anything strange about that? Oh, no, certainly not. No, we, uh, we just thought that he acted a little hard to handle. Oh, Jimmy's all right. Really, he is. Except that he's a little young. Maybe he's not always careful enough about the company he keeps. What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. Just the way you acted. You were worried, weren't you? Well, sometimes I do wonder. But there's nothing wrong. I know there isn't. It's only that he hasn't anyone. Not a soul in the world since Dad died except... Well, except just me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I wasn't aiming to pry into anything private. I know you weren't. Crazy to let yourself get in a hole like this. I know it, but but that doesn't help me now. That's right. How much do you owe Harmon altogether? Not such an awful lot, Bart. Maybe less than eight hundred dollars. Sounds like an awful lot to me. But I guess maybe I can help you out of it this time. Will you, Bart? That's what I said. And in turn, you can get me some information. Now listen, Bart. Please. 
You the last time. Oh, what's eating you? Nothing you do now is going to get you in any deeper than you already are. Well, I don't know. All right. What is it you want? You pull up that stool and get off of your feet. I can't stand your prancing. about time you got back. Say, uh, was the kid brother there? Not that we've seen. Uh, from the remarks she let drop, I have a notion he's quite a handful for Sally. For who? That's right, I neglected to tell you. She asked me to call her Sally. But to you, it'll be Miss Rowell. Mm, oh, I see, Mr. Rowell's daughter. Judge Rowell. My, my, the whole family history. Yep, her old man used to be a big gun back in Kansas till he lost his health and moved out west. Mm hmm well, uh, how long ago was that? Oh, just a few years back. I see. Was, uh, was there anything else? No, what? Mm, nothing, nothing. Only, uh, now I can take up where you left off. Oh, yeah? Oh, by the way, uh, you needn't wait up for me. I have a notion I'll be rather late. And he served as judge of Monroe County for over 20 years. Did you eat your pie? Oh. In those days, Kansas was crime-ridden. The York Gang, the Breeden Brothers, the Daltons. <laughs> I've got a dream spot in mind. Where we'll leave our cares far behind. A world of our own made for love alone that we two can share together. The call of the wild, the echo of the waterfall, the call of the wild is calling me home where starlight beams along the trail that I knew I'll live and dream the future with you the call million pines that reach the sky. I love every mile that rolls by. From far and near, that echo I hear. The What is it? I want you to meet Mr. King. Mr. King, this is my brother. I'm glad to know you. Same here. Your supper's in the oven. I'll have it on the table in a jiffy. Oh, don't bother, sis. I'm not hungry. Already eaten? Yes. Where? Listen, sis. Hasn't a fellow a right to eat with friends without being cross-examined? Just a minute, Jimmy. I want to talk to you. But I'm late already. I'm expected at the Bar X. Well, uh, uh, good night, Miss Rowell. You promised to call me Sally. Miss Rowell makes me sound like an old maid school teacher. <laughs> All right, but before it's a bargain, uh, you got to call me Dusty. Good night, Dusty. Good night, Sally. Good night, Jimmy. Good night. I wish you'd quit treating me like a baby, especially in front of folks. I don't mean to treat you like, but after all, we only have each other. Sure, I know it, sis. Only, only a fellow hates to be cross-examined, like, like he's a criminal or something. Oh, forget it, sis. I've got to hurry. I can't keep Millie waiting all night. Good 
Goodbye, old Pete, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Goodbye, old Pete, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. First there was one horse, then one star, one prisoner, and now it looks like one girl amongst us. What do you mean amongst us? Hear that alibi? He must be figuring on a monopoly. Well, we'll let her do the figuring. She's a lady of education and, and discernment. <laughs> what a fine rig for a peace officer. Now, if you aim to dazzle outlaws with it, why, well, I'd suggest wearing it. Which outlaws? Why, the ones that stole our horses, maybe. At any rate, we're going after them. Going how? On horses. I just made a deal for a couple. Come on, take a look at them. Well, how do you like them? Mighty poor substitutes for the ones we lost. Yeah, when a fella gets to knowing his own horse, it's mighty hard to get another one to take its place. Hey, Corrigan. Yeah? Harmon wants to see you over to his office. Okay. Crash ought to send word to that armor to come over here if he wanted anything. Yeah, but I think we can leave it to Crash to start telling him off when the time's right. Yeah, but I don't like no part of the layout. Let's go over to Sloan. In case we're needed, we ought to be handy. Howdy. Hello. Sit down. Thank you. The committee has decided it's unconstitutional to keep a prisoner lingering in jail. What constitution are they talking about? There's only one constitution that I know of. Now, we fetched you here to straighten things out. We expect you to do it legal. Now, the fair thing to do is to take Blackie Dunbar to the county seat and let him stand trial. Well, when do you suggest? As soon as you can. Say tomorrow. Well, that sounds fair enough. Tell the committee that I'll have Dunbar handcuffed to me, and if his friends attempt to stampede me to the happy hunting grounds, I'll take my prisoner along with me. Who's winning? Oh, we're about even. What do you want? Keep on playing, I'll spell it to you sort of gradual like. I'll uh, take on the winner. You bought some. That's interesting. Take care of it. Touch him in the office. Alibi, you round up my horse and take him to the stable. Dust and I'll finish this game of casino. Sure, I'll tend to it. 
That hombre I just tangled with is the one we've got to keep tab on. What makes you think so? Well, why do you suppose my horse took after him? Well, he was the... He must have been the one that beat him up. Right. We'll just stick around and see what happens. No, leave me alone. I'm all right. We want to be alone a minute, Wash. He's going to pay for this and pay plenty. I'll come out of it. Did the kid call to see you last evening? Yeah. What happened? He agreed to find out where the Bar X has the 5,000 hid they got for that sale of cattle. Find out? How? He's going to call on old Fleming's daughter tonight. Have a look around. They're sweet on one another. You know, Lev, after the kid finds out, then what happens? Me and the boys will go out and knock old Fleming over for the money. Taking the kid with you. Oh, I'm afraid to. Bobby might turn yell and start squawking. I guess you forget what fetched us to this engine wallow. Okay. Do? Let that be a reminder. But, Bob, you had more to keep this around, supposing somebody run across it. Listen, Bob. Bud's pictures was in all the papers when he was took and hung. If they saw that, they'd recognize it right away. Then they'd put two and two together and figure that you and I was what was left of the three breeding brothers. Ah, sit down. We had no business taking butt on that job, but we did. He got caught and hung. We was made outlaws, not daring to show our face to save our own property. That's when the old place was sold for taxes. Some of the best acres in Kansas, homesteaded by our grandpap, fell in the hands of old Judge Rowell while we was hiding out. I know how you've always felt about it, but why go on taking chances? Can't we just call it water under the bridge? Not as long as a Rowell owns what was ours and Bud before the old judge clamped down on it. That's how he lost the property, when Bud got caught and hung. And that's how they're going to lose it, after Jimmy Rowell gets caught and hung. Caught and hung before he's old enough to make it legal. Oh, it seems to me like that you're harboring some of the feuding blood of the Kentucky breedings and harboring it useless. Rowell didn't have land in mind when he sentenced Bud just like he sentenced a lot of others. I haven't got time to argue with you. We were agreed when we came to Canyon City. You're taking that kid with you tonight. If you don't want to go, scare him into it. Tell him there's a bullet with his name on it if you don't go. Go ahead. All right. you find out? Well, uh, come on. There's a room right off the parlor. Mr. Fleming uses it as kind of an office. He keeps his money in the desk. I'll saddle up your horse. We're riding to camp. But, Bart, I've done what you told me to. I... Shut up. The boys are going to keep an eye on you till this job's finished. Maybe the kids got mixed up deeper than you should. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's our job to... There's the hombre who whipped your horse, Crash, riding out ahead. And Jimmy's alongside of him. We'll trail him as close as we can without being seen. Tex, you stay here, the horses.
Mr. Fleming. Mr. Fleming, it's Jimmy. We come after that $5,000 you got in the house, huh? Let's get out of here. That's the hombre we've been following from the first. And now if we can find out what his tie-up with Harmon was. Well, there isn't much use in chasing them in the dark. They know these hills a lot better than we do. I wish that kid wasn't mixed up in it. So do I. But we bargained to do our duty without favors. You're gonna stand by me, sis. Aren't you, sis? Of course I am, Jimmy. You know that. <laughs> Gee, sis. Gee. <laughs> but why don't you land on me? Why don't you tell me I'm no good? Land on me. Land on me now. Let's have it over with. You're all right, Jimmy. You just got mixed up, that's <laughs> all. We'll work it out. Well, Sally. Well, hand me. They'll hang us all. Sis, Mr. Fleming, I didn't want to tell you, but Bart Gill shot through the door. Mr. Fleming was hit. We could hear him fall. Sis, what are you going to do? Get hold of yourself, Jimmy. Don't leave my room. I'll lie to him. I'll tell him you're not here. Oh, Sally. Why, Crash, what in the world are you doing here? Sally, is Jimmy home? Well, I suppose so, in his room. I'll go and see. Never mind. I'll look myself. Apparently he hasn't been there tonight. But I... What's the matter, Crash? Why do you want him? Sally, there's been a murder. Murder? Well, what's that got to do with Jimmy? That happened at the Bar X. And Dusty said that Jimmy was there. And uh, I thought he might be able to furnish us with a clue or something. Oh, for a minute you had me thinking you suspected him. Just as soon as I see him, I'll... Who was that? Uh, I don't know. Crash, you can't. You mustn't. I won't let you. Sorry, Sally. Was the kid wounded badly? Not very. He was pretty weak when he got to the cabin. 
It was only a flesh wound, clean as a whistle. Anyway, we put our mark on him. They'll catch up with him sooner or later. What about the rest of us? You're ducking out and leaving him. Do you hear me? Skinning out so far, nobody will ever find you. But not until them range busters get what they gave Bart. I didn't know you took Bart death so hard. You always seem to disagree. Oh, I guess we did quarrel some. Anyway, as far back as I can remember, I was seven or eight and Bart was a year younger. You knowed one another as long as that? Yes, and longer. We were brothers. There's you and Bart Gill? Yeah, but that wasn't his real name. He was Ike, and I'm Jim Breeden. Take a look at that. The short one's Bud. He was caught and hung. But that's taken care of. We put our mark on the kid. Now the only score to settle is Bart's. That's a pretty big order, Bob, to go gunning for all three of them. We won't tackle it right here in town. We'll get them out someplace where it's handy. They all know the kid's mixed up in this. The one they call Alibi is staked out at the sister's house. You go on back to the cabin. Everybody to clear out, except just the kid. Tell them to meet me at Elk Creek Junction. I'll take your personal. First, I gotta get this note delivered to the kid's sister. Stalling around is getting on my nerves. I'd a lot rather get our horses and start scouting. As soon as we do that, we'll be spied upon. Folks on the other side are getting nervous, too. Just to know which one shows their hand first. Here comes Alibi now. Harmon came to Sally's house less than a half an hour ago. Directly left again. Now Miss Sally saddled on a horse. Well, has she left yet? No, I got here to do Is my horse still staked out where you left it? Yeah. Gee, I hate to do this, but I guess I'll have to trail her. It does seem like we're doing a lot of picking on that kid. But it's our sworn duty. Once we get a hold of him, he can help us clear up the whole mess. You two stay here and keep a watch on Harmon. Corrigan is trailing the girl to the cabin. We'll settle with him first and then take care of them other two arrangements. Sis! Jimmy, are you all right? What are you doing here? Well, you sent for me, didn't you? No. What made you think so? This, if you didn't send it, who did? I don't know. Get yourself together. You've got to get out of here. back to town with me, Jimmy. Then it was you. You sent this. No, ma'am. I'm sorry my duty brings me here, but the best way all around is for Jimmy to come clean. Crash, you can't. He just got mixed up. You can't hang him for that. Oh, I don't think it'll be as bad as that if he helps out by telling the truth. I guess he's right, sis. They'd get me sooner or later. Come on, Jimmy. And uh, keep your chin up. Just a minute, Crash. Put that gun down, Sally. Don't crash. Don't make me pull this trigger. I will if you don't give Jimmy a chance. Get your horse, Jimmy. What's this? I said get your horse. All right, but, but you're likely making more trouble. And put up your hands.
Don't let him move, sis. Corrigan's getting away. After him. You should have let Jimmy come along peaceful like. Jimmy! Corrigan must still be at the cabin. Let's get back. My horse. Why, Jimmy must have taken it. Now I know why he took my hat. He was fooling somebody into thinking he was me. Harmon's with him. Let's get back in the cabin until we find out what his game is. Looks like there's going to be trouble. You better go in the back room and be quiet. You wait here, boys. Wash, you know what to do. the door and bolt it. Why the artillery? Sargon, have you gone crazy? Harmon, you and your gang have stampeded your last peace officer. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Don't do any wild shooting, you'll hit the ball. Let's bust in the door. Alibi, while I take a look inside. Get away from that door. Hurry up. Unbolt that door and open it. Come on in, Dusty. Nice work, Craig. We got the rest of the gang rounded up outside. Now, that's fine. You and Alibi take the prisoners in. Sally and I'll go looking for Jimmy. All right, Harmon, come on. Sis, there's no need to cry now. I'm not mixed up anymore. You said we'd work it out. Folks here about are going to miss you, boys. We're going to do some missing ourselves, Mr. Disher. 
Well, we'd like mighty well to have you stay on. Seems like we got maverick blood in our veins. Every time we finish a job, uh, our eyes start roaming around looking for a new scene. I guess we just weren't made to settle down. Well, suppose you know your own minds. Well, anyhow, nothing was said definite about pay, but the Citizens Committee have asked me to offer you this for your services. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, personal, here's one job I'd rather not get paid for. We all feel that way about it. But we don't expect peace officers for nothing. We, we uh... feel that your town needs a social center. That's right, for fellas like Jimmy Rowell, where they can amuse themselves. Uh... A town hall, maybe, with games and a reading room. And space enough for Saturday night dancing. Yeah. So if that check belongs to us, we'd like to endorse it right back to the committee for some such purpose. That's right. Here, crash endorse it. Well, the idea of a town hall is a mighty good one, but after all, it... Here you are. <laughs> Much obliged, but well, I don't know just what to say. Well, it was on account of Jimmy that we thought of it. So, uh... Uh, when you build a hall, why, you might have something inscribed on it about it being to the memory of a, uh, of a boy that, uh, that, that found himself. <laughs> well, come on, you mavericks. If we're going to reach three parts per night, we got to start molding. Oh, uh, Mr. Disher, you can do us one, one more favor. You might tell Sally goodbye for us. It doesn't seem just right to I disturb her this time. <laughs> and you might mention that we'll be back this way sometime real soon. About the time you're ready to dedicate that new town hall. Come along, <laughs> boys. Goodbye. So long. So long. Goodbye, boys, and good luck. Thanks. We'll be seeing you, folks. <laughs>